Yo, 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 check your rollies and pop a 40. It's brimstone time. Un returns. Revenge of Un. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're playing East 2 still, and we're still in the mines. The, the bad place. But we are nearing the end of this, at least. We've gotten five of the books. We've gotten, I believe, all of the items we need, so... Except one. And oh boy, it's the most crucial part of all. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. I that, That's the boss area, and I was heading there and realized, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to be there yet. Yeah, that wouldn't end well. Yeah. God damn, that thing is ugly. Yeah, there's some pretty ugly monsters in this one. Although I don't think they have the huge monsters like they did in East 1. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that giant floating head, that, that was like, that was, that was pretty creepy, and the giant zone eaters in the uh, last mines. And lots of dead ends. I swear in this- Armies! I swear, they added a lot more, like, dead ends in this version. Like, the mines could be bad enough, no, they had to add a bunch of dead ends to it. <laughs> so I say, hey, you know what people really liked in, in East 2 what was all the mazes and mines. So let's add more to it. And I don't think this is the right way, but I'll check anyways. Yep, dead end. Never seen one of those before. Yeah. Yeah, get what used. Are you? You're an idiot. <laughs> That's like a giant flower tentacle thing. Oh, lumpy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. East always had some strange ecology. Ah, there's what I'm looking for. Fire magic! We get to burn things now! Yay! Oh, and it, it's... and it gets better, because you can actually charge this thing. Nice. Yep, could do that in the turbo version, although... Then again, the turbo version, especially later on, the fire magic was deadly on its own. You know, bulldozer power comes to mind in. Oh yeah. I'm having to load there because I pressed the wrong button and actually used a one of my herbs. And I almost freaking <laughs> teleported right into someone. God damn if I didn't do it again. Yes, I did. I was, but <laughs> twice. Unfortunate. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I do this a total of three to four times. Loading, making sure I don't freaking use my herb. Either that, just get frustrated and say, screw it. I don't remember. There. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what button it was to use the fire magic. So, Hadouken! So yeah, that's what the charge ability does. You start charging up power, you get white bubbles flowing into you a la Mega Man X, and you fire a bigger shot. Or you can go rapid also, fire. I also note that magic is rather rapidly regenerative in this, although uh, it looks like your, your permanent amount slowly decreases. That would be correct. 
so yes, while it's kind of an interesting trade-off in the original East, you did use I think one or one MP or per like couple shots or one per shot, but you could fire was it two or three shots, but you could do it continuously. This way you could do rapid shots, but you have to pause in between shots after a while to reload, quote unquote. And as you said, yeah, the permanent number decreases over time. It's an interesting mechanic. Does it uh, photosynthesize when you're out in the open? Actually, it does not. You actually have to go to places of healing or use a rota seed to regenerate magic. I guess Adol's regenerative capability photosynthesis isn't tapped into the play lines of magic. I, I don't know. Adol's a paladin, not a wizard. He's not. He doesn't have that class, nor did he cross class. Yeah, I know some D and D references. I don't. I doubt very many people are going to get. Well, I don't know. If they're watching Let's Plays, they're probably the type to get it. No offense, folks. Yeah. Actually, you'd be surprised how many people play video games and into the gaming community that really don't know about the pen and paper D&D games. All they really know is the, you know, the PC games. Like Winter, Never Winter Nights and whatnot. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the boss, which is right over here. And find the requisite foreboding door. Yeah. And let's go ahead and save. And let's go ahead and fight this thing. And yes, he's quite big. And definitely a little on the ugly side. Yep. And here is one of my biggest gripes between the Turbo version... Well, I died, but... Yeah. Damaku. <laughs> Anyways, what I was going to say was, here's my biggest gripe between... with the East Turbo version. Notice the music. Yes, East 2 actually has its own track. Normally we would be hearing the music from East 1, which is a good track, mind you. But East 2 has its own version, and I absolutely love the song. Mm. So take it easy and... Well, oh, so close. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. So yeah, you want to open it while his, you know, eye is open and fire, shove fireballs right down his throat. I died quite a few times actually before killing that guy. But he is dead. And you're leveled. Yep. And save here because I don't want to do that again. And if you thought that was over, no, 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 more mine. Although this is the final part of the mines. This is where we actually start getting the important stuff. So I'm looking for, I believe, four or five items here. I want to say four. Uh, that thing you killed was totally the uh, slime monster from Dana's bathtub in Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? There's 
a really weird mod. Like I said, East has some really weird ecology. And there was a hidden door there. What are you doing here? There are no babies for you to eat. <laughs> yeah. There's no Dana here, only at all. And that iron ore placement was kind of sneaky. Yeah, it was. You wouldn't expect to actually look in a minecart. To be honest, I found it completely by accident the first time. Like I said, East 2 has some really sneaky item placement. Not everything's inside chest. go through here and we got Nagas to deal with and levels to gain so yeah this area doesn't have very much in the, in the door maze section it's just big on the plus side, the lack of door maze action means the minimap is actually somewhat useful. Yep. Which is very good. And another one of those sneaky secret areas. Which is kind of, it's kind of funny because I'm, for some reason, I'm reminded of Deadly Towers and... Yeah, the evil bell. Anyway, in Deadly Towers, which is actually kind of funny because you burn bells in Deadly Towers, but <laughs> I digress. Uh, oh, that reminds me. No, that's a freaking evil bell. That, that is really, as I said, creepy bell. Yeah, they ain't kidding. But it's kind of... It's really strange later on, but we'll get to that part when it actually comes. Anyway, I was talking about Deadly Towers as we go through Dalahans here and Headless Horsemen. They have these weirdly weird placements for hidden areas and I remember the secret rooms which usually tend up to be death traps full of bats and stuff where you walk in all of a sudden there's like 10 bats swarming you or something. Oh god, a Deadly Tower has had the worst bats on Earth. <laughs> yeah. Not only were they blindingly fast, but they are some of the stronger enemies in the game, too, which is... I, I, I'm calling bad bullshit on that. Yeah. Yeah, those, that's one of the times you really wish you had an umbrella. <laughs> and we get the light magic. No, I can't remember what that actually does in any version. I'm always forgetting what the point of it is. I believe it is used to find one hidden treasure in, in this game. I think it's like a one-shot magic, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> the answer then? Not a whole hell of a lot. I haven't tried to see if there's any secondary effects. They might have added something to give it some use, but I, I don't know. I might play around with it in, the, in Burn Blast, which is where I'm at right now at point of this recording anyways. So, I gotta head all the way back because there's one more thing we gotta get. Which is the second half to the medicine we gotta get for Lilia. The Cassetta flower, however they pronounce it in this version. Which is right up here. I could have got this in the beginning, but... That will last. Yep. So see the flower? I, I don't know. So, warping through the use of the magic of editing. Because I forgot to buy a wing like a dumbass. <laughs> uh, oh well. A little extra XP, a little extra cash. Yeah. And we're going to uh, end it here. So until next time, this is Brimstone. And I'm still on.
And I'm still on. <laughs>